Hi folks. Today we're going to take a quick look at the DEF metering unit on Detroit diesel powered EPA 10 vehicles. The metering unit is typically mounted to the back of the one box. It's mounted on a bracket and also has a protective shield covering it. The metering unit is made up of many different parts with most of them being serviceable. So what is the metering unit made up of? First we have the inlet fitting where compressed air is supplied to the metering unit. Just below this fitting is a filter screen to keep contaminants out of the air system. It's replaceable. Next we have the diffuser heater. This is the first of two heaters in the metering unit. They're installed to keep DEF from freezing inside the metering unit, but also any water that may have passed through the air system. Next we have the nozzle supply fitting. This is where the DEF and air mixture exits the metering unit and enters the one box. Next is the dosing valve. This is what meters and injects the DEF into the metering unit. Then we have the DEF inlet connector with the inlet screen built in. Then we have the DEF pressure sensor, the DEF temperature sensor, and the second heater in the system. Last we have the compressed air pressure sensor. Just about all these pieces of the unit can be replaced or serviced. Unfortunately, with the exception of the dosing valve itself, it's built into the metering unit and if it goes bad, the entire unit will have to be replaced. The fittings and sensors and heaters can all be directly removed from the metering unit and replaced. In some instances, the diffuser heater may need to be cleaned. If it becomes blocked or plugged up, it can also be replaced if the blockage is too bad or if the heater itself fails. You can disassemble and access it by removing the three torque screws from the bottom of the unit. So how does it all come together and work? These EPA-10 setups use the combination of pressurized DEF and also compressed air to inject DEF into the after-treatment device. The unit mixes DEF with compressed air and injects it into the exhaust flow through a nozzle mounted in the mixing chamber. DEF is supplied to the metering unit from the DEF pump. Once inside the metering unit, the DEF passes through a 30 micron screen that's fitted inside the inlet fitting. The DEF is then supplied to the dosing valve. When the ACM requests DEF dosing, compressed air will also be supplied to the metering unit. The dosing valve will open and it will spray the proper amount of DEF and air mixture into the DEF nozzle. The compressed air in the system is also used to purge DEF out of the system once the engine has been shut off. You may have noticed the sound around a vehicle that's just shut off that sounds almost like a small air leak that lasts for about 5 minutes. This is the system going through a purge cycle. It's using the compressed air to move the DEF that's sitting in the metering unit and the DEF lines back to the tank. If the DEF were left in the unit or the lines and it froze, it could cause damage. So that's a basic look on how the metering unit functions. Hopefully it was able to give you a better understanding of what's going on there. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more helpful videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.